Anything can happen with our future. That's why we have to be ready, we have to be prepared. But it's not enough to be just street smart. It pays to be money wise. There are more than 2.3 million Filipino overseas workers or OFWs to date and the numbers keep on increasing year after year. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Because of greener pastures, more and more Filipinos prefer to work abroad. And after coming up with enough savings, most of them eventually come home and start their own business to secure their family's future and their own retirement. Speaking of business and OFWs, we have a guest this morning who happens to be a wife of an OFW and plans to put up their own business. Good morning, Pa. This is Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Pa. How long has your husband been working abroad? 22 years na po siya sa abroad. Uh, and he works as a seaman, fitter a machinist. Seaman. First things first, okay, Ma'am Rosario. You have to show us your money. How much ang nare-receive nyo? Ang naiuwi niya po sa akin is 1,500. 1,500 to be uh, clear, it's more or less around 65,000 pesos. Do you have any other uh, loans, credit card, may utang ba kayo? Wala po. Okay, good. Ganda yun, wala siyang utang. So, very liquid yes, si Ma'am, yes, no? Yes, that's really good. Magkano po ang inyong monthly total expenses? More or less 38,000. Electric bill, okay. water bill, telephone and cable, uh, tuition fee and allowance ng aking mm -hmm, mm -hmm. daughter, tapos um, food. They're able to save at least an extra fifteen to 20,000 pesos a month. How much po ang savings ninyo? 200. 200,000 pesos. pesos. So with that savings, we heard ito na, that you're planning to put up a business. What business po ito? Car wash mm -hmm. and mini grocery po. Car wash po kasi ang husband ko po mahilig magpaganda ng sasakyan. Mm. Ngayon, syempre, supportahan ko siya para kahit pa paano may kita. Your husband still works as a seaman. Apo. So hindi niya po matututukan yung business. Apo. About the mini grocery, uh, why mini grocery? Ayun po talaga ang gusto ko para sa Ayun naman ang gusto ni Ma. <laughs> okay, okay, next question. Do you have an experience in running a mini grocery before? Mm, meron na po. Nung sa mother ko po, nung maliit pa kami. There you have it, our first part of the interview with Ma'am Rosario, a wife of a seaman. And she already showed us her money with regards to their plans to come up with a business, a car wash, and a mini grocery store. But the question is, is their budget enough? What other ways probably can Rosario and her husband expand their budget for their target business? We'll get to know that later on. We will answer more of your questions here on MoneyWise as we continue with our Show Me The Money segment later. In the meantime, let's watch this. Low Spa has a unique um, spa concept inspired by local healing tradition, philosophy, and rituals from the Philippines and Southeast Asia. Um, primarily, we are catering to all Marco Polo in-house guests. Low Spa has a wide range of services that you could choose from. We have the traditional Hilot massage, We are using aromatherapy oil brand called Amuin, the first and only high-grade locally made aromatherapy oils. We also have the Oriental Food Spa, which we are using the Mount Apos highly mineralized clay. And for the body treatments, we have the organic red rice, which is from the highlands of Mindoro, rich in vitamins and minerals. And lastly, our famous Philippine Baraco coffee body scrub from Patangas.
uh, Flow Spa has treatment rooms are as spacious. It has its own changing area, shower room with steam, comfort room, and a treatment area. All amenities are available. Our therapist is more than happy to assess you with all your requests to give you a bespoke spa experience. In behalf of Flow Spa Team, we are inviting all of you to come and try our services. We are located on the 22nd floor of Marco Polo Ortigas, Manila. For a reservation, you may call us at 02 720-7777. For any inquiries, you could email us at manila at marcopolohotels.com. My question is this. Hindi na siya nag fw yeah. Okay? Wala pa kayong negosyo. Ayaw mo bang trabahuhin at kitain yung sweldo na kinikita ng asawa mo? From lollipop cake, paano mo naisip na gawing lolly cake? Si Jimmy nag-isip noon. Since favorite niya, the Cheesecake Factory. Sa lollipop and a cake, why don't you make it the lolly cake factory?